Okay, so this time I wanted to talk to you about something really interesting that I found. I watched a BuzzFeed video about um, getting your genes tested to figure out which nutrition plan and workout plan works better for you based on genetics and science. So I thought that was really cool. I looked it up online. Uh, I went with fitnessgenes.com uh, because they provide you with a really, really like detailed analysis of, of everything that you need to know. And so I did it. I spit in the little tube. I sent it off to them and they sent me back my results. And so today I want to talk to you a little bit about that. Stick around. Thank you. Okay, so if you're anything like me, you've probably tried all of the fitness plans. You've probably tried all of the nutrition plans. Like I legitimately have tried low carb, low fat, low everything. Um, I saw this thing online about if you only eat Halo Top, you'll totally win. And, and while I didn't think it would work, I knew that I like ice cream, so why not? Um, I tried the ketogenic diet or ketogenic diet, um, and I found that I failed miserably. Like, I was able to keep in ketosis. I, I bought this little tube that you breathe into that, based on the color that it changes to, it lets you know if you're in ketosis. Um, and that all started because I found one of my favorite, um, fitness gurus or... Um, her name is Shailene Johnson. Uh, she, I signed up for one of her diet plans. Um, and basically it was this three-phase process. But throughout the entire thing, what I loved about it is that she taught you a lot. Um, and one of the big things that I learned is that not every diet is going to work for every person. So the ketogenic diet, there's not one perfect diet that if you do this, it'll work for you. It's it's all dependent on you personally. So she took a very scientific approach to it and she told her people through these like mini episodes that she would watch to to test which which foods um, give you inflammation, which foods make you gassy, which foods cause you to maybe gain a little bit of weight and lose a little bit of weight. So she took a very scientific approach to it and that kind of set the wheels in motion and got me thinking. Um, so I was primed and ready when I read this article and I watched this video about fitness genes. So, like I said, I spit in the tube, I sent it off, and I got my results back. And what I'll say about it, I love fitness genes because it gives you this really comprehensive analysis of, of I don't remember how many genes it was, but it was a lot of them. Let me look at this real quick, and I'm going to have to cut this out. Uh, 28. Right here, I've got 28 different genes um, but I believe it's more than that. I think it's about 40 or 43. This is just what I have in front of me. Um, the ones that I thought were the most important. Because there were some that, yeah, it confirms I'm not a dude. Um, and different stuff like that. Uh, so basically, like I said, it comes back and it gives you this like full analysis of what this, what gene type you have and basically what that means for you, either physically, sleep-wise, uh, nutrition-wise, and fitness-wise. All of these different things, it was very interesting. Um, it took a lot for me to digest it. But they also have a section where if you don't have time to go through this and figure out what's the best workout plan for me and what's the best fitness plan, um, nutrition plan for me, you can just put in um, your weight and all that different stuff and it will calculate your macros for you and what it thinks based on your genes would be best for you. And it will also, you can also purchase a workout plan based on your gene type. Now, luckily I was able to read through and figure out what it, what it said and it basically confirmed a lot of stuff for me. But um, I did use the the macro calculator, which I had been trying 
the ketogenic diet at the time and it said no that will not work for you based on your genes your body doesn't switch from um, from burning sugar to burning fat as easily so I don't go into ketosis as easily as some other people might um, so it said intermittent fasting probably won't work as well for me and the ketogenic diet also not gonna work nearly as well for me so that was nice it confirmed it for me what I really like about this is that it is a scientific approach and so there's really no question to it I have always had this big huge problem where I, I hear this stupid fad diet or it's not really stupid but I hear about this fad diet and I am jumping to it and I try it for a week and I'm like cool this is gonna be amazing um, and then four five six seven seven days later I hear about another one and I'm like oh that works for a lot of people too that's gonna be amazing and I go out and I buy all the foods and I swap diets I don't give my body a chance to get used to it I don't give my body a chance to have the gains that it might have I don't give my body a chance to adjust adapt anything before I'm swapping to a new one now let's go back to Shailene Johnson. One of the things that I learned from her is she said, you got to give your body three to four weeks at the very minimum before you're going to start seeing some like regular progress. At the very beginning, you're probably losing water weight. You're probably losing like just food weight, bloat weight, whatever it is. You're not seeing the real results of that new nutri nutrition plan. Um, so you got to give your body a chance. Well, I believe science. That's just me. So when I get something that says we tested your genes and we figured out what's right for you, it kind of clicks with me. It's not like, ooh, that worked for them, so that's going to work for me. No, it's like this basically says what you should do based on science and real life, like who you are and what's inside of you it's it's easy for me to stick to something like that. so I'm just gonna go through a few of the things that I saw that I thought were really interesting um, so basically for my fitness what I saw is that they had one gene that was a gene for endurance and it said that based on this I should have great endurance I should or at least be able to build my endurance very quickly and build it very evenly um, so that's something that I've, I've always known. I love distance running and I like to work out for long periods of time um, and I like to go all out. So that was something that I kind of knew. I struggle with it. My, my, my cardio drops if I don't work on it for a while, but um, I pick it up pretty easily and it's what I enjoy the most and I think that's because it probably comes the most easily easily to me. Um, another um, thing that kind of confirmed um, this uh, difficulty that I've always had and something that's always like left me feeling bummed is that we have to run a mile and a half for our fitness test and I've always wanted to max it out but the thing that always um, I struggle with is my run which is funny because I just said I'm a distance I like to run distances right well the difficulty that I have always had is is picking up speed is is trying to go a little bit faster is trying to get there as quickly as possible Possible. So that mile and a half, I can keep going after my run, but I, I struggle um, with that speed. And so one of mine, a gene for speed, basically says that the carriers of my type of gene, my genotype, which is XX for the ACTN3 um, gene, uh, it appears that these people will be dis have a disadvantage or at a disadvantage for rapid forceful muscle contractions such as is needed in speed and power sports so there we go that's why I've struggled so much and it feels like no matter how much I work on my speed I can pick it up slowly but I cannot seem to get to that like peak performance fast 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 speed that I've always wanted to get to um, so that in itself has got me adjusting the way that I'm working out and the way that I am setting my goals for myself. Some people, they may be able to get fast quickly. 
I can set my endurance faster. And then hopefully slowly over time, I might be able to pick up my speed, but I'm not gonna set those standards so high that they are unreachable because now I know that, that it might not be possible. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try. I'm not going to look at this and be like, this is completely right and nothing it says could possibly be wrong. One of, the, For example, one of the ones that um, I kind of go against is that the clock gene or the gene affecting your sleep cycle. Uh, I have the CT uh, gene cycle um, genotype and it states that um, my circadian rhythm might be thrown off and that might lead me to not get into the sleep cycle that will benefit from, um, that will improve my weight loss or my metabolizing. Um, and it also states that I have a higher likelihood of being a night owl. I would say that I'm more of a morning person. I do notice that I, I have more energy, but I think that I just have a lot of energy in general. But basically, it states that if you're a night owl, you should work out at night. For my life, I find that if I work out, if I wait to work out in the evening, I might skip it all together. But if I try to work out in the morning and I can get it done, then I'm more likely to um, to work out that day. I've also noticed with my Garmin that when I work out in the morning, I burn way more fat throughout the day or way more calories throughout the day than I do when I wait to work out until the evening. And working out in the evening, it's not like it's a 25, 24 hour cycle where I continue to burn. No, when I go to sleep, I'm not, I'm not burning more calories than I normally would. And this activity monitor, this heart rate monitor, um, keeps track of it all day long. I wear it all day and all night and it lets me know um, based on what I've done how how many calories I've, I've burnt. So not everything. Um, it says that I'm not lactose intolerant which I already knew. It says that I have the uh, that I'll probably overeat at times because of my appetite um, and that I probably don't have that satisfied sensation that would stop me from overeating. Uh, also very true. It says, yeah, uh, fat versus carb processing, that carb processing is going to be better for my body than fat processing, the gene for fat burning. Um, it says you don't want to do ke the ketogenic diet. Um, I said that my metabolism, um, while it can be affected by certain things, uh, that I should be a fat metabolizer and that, uh, you know, genetically my metabolism should be easily, you know, increased. So that's a good thing. Um, it, it gives me a little bit of hope and it makes me want to work a little bit harder on these types of things knowing, knowing that. Okay. I don't follow everything 100%. There are certain things that based on my lifestyle, I'm, I'm going to change. But this, this has set me up for a really good plan. So the next thing that I am going to do now that I've got this and I'm very excited is I am going with my trainer to do this body analysis, put me in a machine and test me out. I'm going to start the macronutrient plan that they set up for me on April the first. I'm going to do it for at least 28 days and after that I will get back into the in-body thing and I will see how it has affected me. Um, and my goal is to get back into my 120s. I am only 5'1 and I know that tomorrow I am going to be disappointed with what the uh, in-body system says. Um, so that is the goal change my eating habits, stick to it as strict as possible. Um, I'll probably have one or two cheat days within there, um, within moderation, but yeah, I'm going to stick to it as close as possible and as healthy as possible and see exactly what I think of this plan. Does it work? Is it easy for me to follow? I'm not gonna change up my, um, my workout routine, that way hopefully we can tell exactly what it is. So tonight, my last night drinking my, my wine. And tomorrow I will show you my um my results on the on the embody thing. I'll have a short video that basically says what those results are. 
I'll have a few videos throughout the next month to let you guys know how it goes. And then I'll have my final progress and what I think. I, I already really like this fitness jeans. There's also a Facebook group and different things like that. So if you want to know more, subscribe, hit the little bell. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to leave a link to fitness jeans in the description box. And if there's, like I said, if there's anything else you would like to know, just leave the question and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. That is all. Bye. I'm going to hit the button this time. That is all.